Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, Place of Binding of Isaac. After birth, Eden streaks are popping off now. Finally back in the double digits. Hopefully we'll be here for a while. Incredibly low rate of fire, but we start with uh, HP and Book of Belial. VE4C1XMP. Uh, pretty desperate for us to pick up tears as soon as possible. I think it's honestly like our... Oh, Invisible Man! I think it's kind of um, deceptive. Because, like, our rate of fire is bad, but I think it's made a little worse. Oh, there's the Invisible Man. I just want to stay away from him. I think it's made a little worse by the fact that our shot speed is pretty poor. But uh, even with that, you know, semi-optical illusion, he's not dead. Even with that semi-optical illusion, uh, not good. Not a good setup right now. HP is good, Book of Belial is good, but we we kind of got screwed by our base uh, starting stats, I think. At least that's that's my that's the way that it looks to me right now. Mr. Boom certainly not as good as uh, Book of Belial, which is very unfortunate because we really really could have used not a better spacebar item at all, but rather a uh, something that improved ourselves uh, on a on a DPS level here. Yeah, um, I guess we'll pop this. I think we really should go to our curse room, but. We have to hold off a little bit, um, preferably until we get like a bomb and some red heart action that we could take advantage of if we go in there and there's nothing. The bomb is for the, the blue fires that might exist, so we don't kill ourselves trying to get, uh, you know, a red chest opened. Uh, and the red heart is for the HP that we lose going in there, so that, that's kind of like a who dares wins moment. We might want... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, the rate of fire is so bad. Um, we might want to hold off on going there. Like, if we get HP from our boss, we could always go to the curse room, then get the HP from the boss, and then hopefully that would replenish it more or less. This kind of run cannot last too long, though. It has an expiration date. Okay, well, let's start it off here. We're pretty lucky to be fighting a boss who's notoriously not tanky. Tanky Kong. But, uh, we'll just sneak in shots whenever we can and try to do our own kind of wet work on these spiders here. That might sound sexual, but I think actually it's like, you know, isn't that what it is when you hire somebody to, like, kill someone? Wet work? No, actually, Northern Lion, it's in XCOM. It gives you plus 25 experience, uh, for all of your, uh, all of the kills from a mission. My mistake, I didn't realize Jake Solomon from Firaxis was, was watching. Hello? Um, fuck you for giving Andromedons so much HP. You're, you're, it's heinous. Um, okay. Not actually fuck you, though. You know, it's a great game. This nation owes you a great debt. I think we're gonna try this. And inside, there is a black heart. So that's pretty valuable for our chances of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. We're following the Isaac float chart like to a T right now. And it's half good, half bad. Um, really, we're one torn photo toothpicks or screw or squeezy or wire coat hanger uh, away from being in a, in a decent spot. Decent spot at least. Um, but we're not at that decent spot yet. And, and that frightens me. Really want to get to the boss ASAP here. Okay, at least it's just the normal basement instead of burning basement. Oh, this sneeze is coming fast and furious. Okay. Usually in the future, probably endeavor to try not to sneeze directly into your pop filter. Can't be good for your microphone. A key. All of a sudden, from, from pain blossoms hope here. Uh... The key allows us to actually go to our item room. I didn't think that it was a 100% guarantee, so it's a, it's a nice uh, confirmation here. We gotta watch out for that. We don't want to get pinballed around like that, you know, Adam's family table from Williams. No consumable drops. Uh, so we, we don't even have to worry about the temptation of those golden chests right here. Please, just give me... You know what? This is an ample opportunity for us to take the D100 or D4. I would be totally in. This run deserves to get re-rolled, even through some shit. Okay, instead we get Lost Fly. 
Probably the worst fly item in the game, but can help us for some enemies. Like the haunt, it'll just tear him up. We gotta check this. And it's a rules card. Some doors require a blessing. Carry them with you. Fantastic. Also covered up uh, one of the enemies on the screen, which I was pretty stoked about personally. It's not like you need to see enemies on, on rooms to kill them, right? Hey, Lost Protector picked up two kills here, though, so big ups there. Um, we're going to go back because there is a Tinted Rock back here. And if we blow it up, we can maybe get something. I would, you know, as much as I may need a Spirit Heart, Small Rock would be so huge. I'm happy to get the two Spirit Hearts. That's an above average haul. But for real, dog, hook me up with... Uh, with a small rock, even more so than small rock, a tears upgrade. That's that's it. It's a it's a very simple ask. That being said, for all my complaining, it does look like we're probably going to be completely okay to get a deal with the devil here, unless we get hit outrageously. Little horn is kind of a pain in the ass, but if he gets like wedged up against the wall as Lost Protector comes by, or if he teleports into Lost Protector or just walks into the fire, um, then you know, great for us. Unfortunately, it takes about a thousand years for Lost Protector to make his way around the map. But if it hits him, he's screwed, man. This, this thing's generating a lot of speed. Oh, we kind of hit him! That's probably the best we could hope for from Lost Protector, honestly. Oh my god, I let myself get hit at the end. Twice! Twice, twice, okay. Cool your jets. Cool your Benny and the Jets impression. Columbia Records isn't going to be happy about that one. Toothpicks. Exactly what we asked for. And we will take uh, Ghost Baby just to give us precedent. This is okay. Bare minimum, period, okay. Certainly not, uh, it's not the nail that we had on our, on our last run. Um, but now that we actually have... A little bit of extra damage from, uh, well, extra DPS, I should say, from the toothpicks. I feel like we're capable of handling this floor without as much anxiety as we handled the last floor. We should have a ton more HP left over. Just, like, completely shit the bed at the end of that little horn fight. But, um, the good news is we weren't really punished for it. Of course, the ghost baby pickup was, like, completely irrelevant. I just do not care at all. Uh, except on the grounds that it gave us deal with the devil precedent, which is incredibly important if we're ever going to get more damage to make this run work. Um, and we, we traded away HP for it, but, you know, one HP for deal with the devil precedent for the whole run is a fucking steal. You know, that's, that's an investment I'll make almost every time, unless we're actually immediately concerned about the, uh, possibility of death. <clears throat> now, just ourselves wedged back here. We're going to do a lot less damage on rooms where we don't use Book of Belial. The effect is going to be amplified a little bit um, the more, you know, tears ups we get. Or sorry, the, yeah, well, effectively the more tears up we have. Um, because we're doing less damage more often, if that makes sense. But uh, certainly I wouldn't have it any other way. Extra shot speed is also extra range. Normally you'd say, hey, it's easy to forget that. It's actually not that easy to forget that because I... I try to talk about effective range as, as much as is relevant. As of right now, it's not that relevant, except on a room like this, where it allows us to, you know, kill these enemies without them even getting close to us. Some of our shots kind of falling off there, but... What you think? I sold them all? Uh, okay, ramming speed. Pretty bad. Uh, it is a small speed upgrade, apparently. I'll take your word for it. People said, hey, NL, you're always shit-talking ramming speed. Don't forget, it's a small speed upgrade. Okay, so, you know, I do like speed upgrades. Which is why when ramming speed shows up, the fact that it's passive and the fact that it's a speed upgrade are the only things that keep me from being like, oh, good, it's ramming speed. Um, but still, it's kind of like, you're like, oh, good, it's ramming speed, right? Like, it's actually hot-ass garbage. So, um, you know what? Lost Protector did some real shit there. I appreciate that. Not gonna hit that guy. Oh, wait, maybe on the pass here. No. Nope. Please don't make a silkworm. You made a silkworm. I think we can afford to take the pill. Nice. Hey, it's an item as good as ramming speed. A random pill. Blank card compass. Hmm. 
I mean, on first glance, I'm saying Compass. If we had a better card, we could rethink it. But as of right now, it's kind of a moot point because we don't have uh, the funds to purchase either. Oh, Lost Fly. Isaac's Fork. Hey, at least it's a trinket. We did not have a trinket. Oh, fuck this room. We got Gurglings and Turdlings? Are you telling me that every... Oh my god. Please. We killed almost all of them with that, so we could still get a deal with the devil. Or we didn't kill almost all of them, but we almost killed all of them, if that makes sense. We have to take it, as much as I hate it. Ah, it did lower our HP, but I think it raised our DPS. So, is there a spirit heart in here? There is. We will live a little longer. Could this be a secret room? Figured we might as well go for broke here, and we got an extra HP upgrade out of it. And balls of steel! Okay, we're, we're back. That's uh, a little bit of NL luck, but you had to have the balls to make it that far anyway. You know, who's taking experimental treatment in that situation? I'm taking experimental treatment in that situation. Oh, man. I forgot, yep, these enemies all have homing tears. These enemies all having homing tears is gonna make this a very annoying room. Ghost Baby just picked up a fucking kill. Like a straight up 100% OG, exclusively Ghost Baby kill. Wow. Um, we will take AAA battery. That means Book of Belial once every two rooms instead of once every three rooms. Do you go to your curse room right off the bat here? I think you do. I think you do. And I think... Uh, maybe you wait for a bomb. I don't know. I, we're gonna lose the spirit heart if we do it, obviously, but is it worth it? It could be. I mean, all I'm thinking about are the most likely outcomes. Or sorry, the mo not the most likely, but the most like outrageous outcomes where you go in there and it's like Guppy's head. And you're like, yeah, okay. Guppy's head. I'm in. Fuck it, let's try it. Okay, well, we didn't need to wait for a bomb. I hate this dude. Once we kill him, though, we got the free red chest. Boom, baby! It's a troll bomb! And Cursed Eye. Hell yeah, my favorite. Cursed Eye is really bad, by the way. Um, but... Is it? Yes, yes it is. Um, but there's, there's some interesting kind of... repercussions of this. There's a couple of items that start to get real good. Okay, actually, this is... Speaking of real good relatively pleased to be fighting greed, maybe picking up a steam sale that lowers our um, barrier to entry for future shops. You know, well, it's basically enough money to get something from a shop, at least. Uh, I also feel like Cursed Eye is going to give us a, a small edge, even, in that when we come into a room, uh, we can kill one enemy right off the bat, which is, on, on rooms with like with three or four enemies, that's not meaningless. Uh, on rooms with one enemy with a lot of HP, it's a huge detriment. But, you know, I, well, I mean, I'm s deliberately splitting hairs to make this item seem not so bad. But I really th do think it can be valuable for us in the early game. Um, and, and hopefully by the time we get to the late game, we've managed to be allowed to tailor our run in such a way that it's not uh, a huge detriment. But definitely, at this point, we're not going to be doing boss rush. We're not going to be doing the haunt. Cursed Eye is almost mutually exclusive. Not the haunt, sorry, the hush. Um, Cursed Eye is almost mutually exclusive with those. I would love the opportunity to get into this boss trap room, but we can't outside of a temperance card or a, uh, get a jail free card or something. What? I, s I stepped on the button. You're telling me after you step on the button, you gotta wait for the fucking, uh, spikes to go down? Health and safety, you gotta get on this shit, dude. Or lady, you know, that's health and safety is a... A field that can be uh, operated by anybody. The most important thing is just having a passion for the subject matter. Beautiful. Um, we have to check this. Alright, well. This is like engineered to be the most trolly payout of all time. At least we can easily get to 15 cents. Um, we have been to our shop, but next floor. Okay, we've teleported into our item room. Mom's wig is good, but I think we gotta go a little hard. Ooh, okay. Um, 
right after saying we should go hard, I took like the least hard item of all time, Maggie's bow. But the extra survivability here, it I, I can't pass it up on a run like this. It just, it makes it so much easier to survive. By the way, now it's stressing the red hearts. We had already fucked that up, but um, it makes it so much easier to survive. Like every red heart is worth twice as much as, as it previously could be considered to be worth. How many shots does it take to kill the champion bomb fly in this situation? That was out of control. Is this a second secret room possibility here? It is a second secret room possibility. And it's a black heart. And we saw this pill, didn't we? No, we didn't. It's I found pills. It could be worse. Okay, we're getting out of this floor. If there's a benevolent force in the universe for good, we may be able to pick up a deal with the devil here. Don't love the odds, but it's possible. The stain? Hey, it could be worse, honestly. Although, I don't like when he opens with this attack. Just gotta chart, like, the vector and how it changes there. The dodge vector. Okay, half dead. Good start. Now, no more silkworms, please. Thank you. Nice. Okay, a little bit of creep. Doesn't bother me. Silkworms are the worst next to the actual, you know, pinwheel shots. We get HP and a deal with the devil with no Krampus. It's Krampus. All right. But that's okay. We have to stick with Book of Belial, I think. But a lump of coal pickup here would help a lot. So just don't teleport. That was pretty close to a teleport, even though I didn't get hit. That time I got hit. Um, it would be nice to keep this black card for the next floor. What are you... Do you see that dodge? Dude is the trickiest dick in, with with the stick. Who's sponsored by Schick? Like, please, that's nah, not lump of coal. I can't take it. We gotta stick Book of Belial. Okay. Well, we did get a deal at least. Necropolis one. Um, about two minutes behind schedule. That's going to get worse. We should be using Book of Belial on a more regular basis one enemy dead two enemies dead uh, there were actually more enemies dead than I thought whoa tinted rock no tinted rock no tinted rock that's okay that's okay how do we get ourselves out of this one basically this has become the danger run that is all about um, survival at this point um, I think we survive long enough to get a, a, a damage item that allows us to get out of this. If we play absurdly well, get a deal with the devil, we probably shouldn't. Um, or we pick up like a bloody penny or something. Could be so huge for us. Bloody penny, that is. With Maggie's bow. Okay, we teleported into our curse room. This is actually like the moment of absolute fucking truth right now. Two spirit hearts. Somebody up there likes me. Not not a whole lot. <laughs> Based on the items we've gotten so far. But, uh... Honestly, Cursed Eye maybe came through in the clutch for me there. I probably would not have gone to the Cursed Room for myself. No Tinted Rocks. I'm just gonna throw a bomb down right there. Just take, take care of a little bit of the Riff Raff. May still get rushed down a little. There we go. Okay, I also thought maybe we'd get a card or something, but not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, secret room, possibly. Good. Probably not not worth it. Dude, this is a great room for Lost Fly. Pretty much, I just gotta not get hit, and Lost Fly will do all the work for me. Uh, the shop is basically a no-brainer here if we find it. If we don't find it, do I really want to go back through the whole room to get it? Or the whole floor? It's probably a very sound choice, but, uh... I don't know, man. It's gonna be annoying. Okay, other items that would really be great for me. 
any form of piercing shots. Even Dead Onion, man. We got shot speed ups. I, I can... I have tolerance for Dead Onion in our present situation. Very likely to get hit on this room. Relative to other rooms. I'm not saying there's above 50% chance we get hit. I just mean... Compared to the other rooms on this floor, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not unlikely. So, we got lucky. Holy shit, we got 20-20. Okay, that's not a win in and of itself, but it is, uh, I'd say, an important step on the path to winning. That's a teleport I can deal with. Are we going back for our shop? At this point, I would say no. Um, we'll, we'll save it for the next floor. Hope for an against-all-odds deal with the devil here. Against-all-odds for several reasons. I would expect to probably get... It Hit and teleported on this brownie fight was what I was gonna say in hindsight. <laughs> we could really use an orbital just so that uh, that doesn't happen. Basically, I still am I still pro cursed eye? Yeah, probably. Um, I mean, for now, as an item, you know, it's not one of my desert island items. Let's put it that way. I'm not I'm not uh, holding out for cursed eye. You know, to, to win the run for us. I take it mostly because it's fun. In my opinion. And it, it adds a little element of zaniness to the run. Which I appreciate. Okay, we got a super greed fight. He's super greedy. This is very silly because we just fought greed on our last floor. Then next floor the shop is just going to contain a handwritten note from greed's grandfather that says, fuck you. Disappointed we're not killing these greed heads faster, man. But hey, 33 cents, 3 bombs, 3 keys. 333 is the magic number. That's that's never been the magic number anywhere, but... Yeah, let's go. Let's go for broke. Sweet. Uh, there's a card up there. Do we remember what this card? It's the Magician. Okay, so we're not going to take that. We will do this room and not teleport. It was the fly that got me last time. So maybe we just focus on the dodge. It's the it's the pivot that kills me, man. Like having to go from one side of the room to the other is, is very dangerous here. There we go, another bomb. I'm going to try to get a better card here. Ah, okay. Um, Pop Book of Belial. Don't let this dude spawn shit in your face. He's up in your grill, trying to take you to a hotel. You stay at a full charge, that's what you do. Which makes it real hard to gain, like, a lot of momentum. <laughs> good. Yeah, he's on the other side. Oh, go wild, go wild. Okay. Good, good, good. I mean, we're doing a ton of damage when we can hit. No deal with the devil, but an HP upgrade plus a small damage increase. We're, we're still in it. Damn. Enemies that fire so quickly are, uh, real pain in the ass. When you got Cursed Eye. We would be better off without Cursed Eye at this point, for sure. But, you make your bed, you gotta lie in it. You gotta lie in it either way, basically, but... <sighs> okay, no no boss rush, obviously. Not super disappointed by that revelation. We will go back for this key. You know what? Yeah, this uh, the greed heads can be annoying. I'm amazed that one barrage doesn't kill those guys. Um, it's kind of a damning indictment of our existing damage, unfortunately. But this is a this is a momentous floor. Not only is it the mom fight, but uh, we also have uh, our best chance in a little while to get a deal with the devil. We've already fought Krampus, so the deal is pretty much guaranteed to. At least have a good chance to not be just total shit. HP is still fairly precious, so we got to be careful there. But there's our shop, or uh, it's not a shop; it's actually a just a special room here. Two of Hearts is probably what we have to keep, uh, just to keep ourselves alive, just to guarantee that we keep ourselves alive. To be more accurate, only two ghosts. Still two ghosts. Okay, good stuff. Our shop. Not greed, uh, but also not good. Got a one makes you small pill. And uh, apparently a lot of donations, I guess, is where we're going with this one next. 
uh, as many donations as we can get at least. The Emperor card. Better than two of hearts? I don't think so. But... It's, it's kind of tempting, I have to admit, because we can skip one whole floor and give ourselves a greater chance of a deal with the devil. Not great, greater. And there's our boss fight. Hmm. Too bad there's no boss rush capabilities. Not a second secret room. This is probably a second secret room then. Yeah, okay. Alright, I was going to go a little harder than one cent on that, but the, the jury has spoken, I suppose. Uh, I think we go take two of hearts just in case there's an arcade. Well, I've already skipped it. I forgot how fast we were. <laughs> um, sure, yeah, dog. You want me to re-roll my whole run? I I would be interested. If this is a five room, a little little less interested. But I guess we could emperor. Ah, we don't want an emperor card on a five room. It's not a five room. It's just a dime that's top of the line. Okay, there's our item room. So we're pretty much ready to go here. Little gish. It's basically okay. I think we keep our Emperor card and go for like a pretty aggro play. I think we beat Mom. Hope for a deal with the Devil. If we don't get one, we don't get one. And then we go straight to uh, the Emperor on the next floor. Or the boss on the next floor. But gotta play this floor smart too. Mom should be way easier for us. Wow, Lost Protector just tore it up here. Um, Mom should be way easier for us than uh, Brownie was. We take the Polaroid. Come in here. Um, we don't have a Guppy item, so I honestly think we just take Sack Dagger. Okay, we're out. Um, and we're going to do one room on the next floor just to get our Book of Belial back, and then we're going to go for it. Although, I guess we could have gotten way more HP if we'd taken, um... How are we gonna murder this dude? We would have gotten way more HP if we took Guppy's, uh... Paw. And then just cranked on it. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> that's... In hindsight, probably should have taken an extra second or two to think there. This boss only lives as long as Lost Protector takes to get up there. Hopefully we get the kill first, but Lost Protector... Oh my god, it's tearing it up! Lost Protector! The world's greatest! Okay, and as a result of our incredible gambit there, we got Pageant Boy. So that's good. Um, well, if we get money equals power, it's great! But... Curse of the Lost. Okay, prepare for the first real floor you've had in, in quite some time. Definitely, this is uh, one of those runs where... Every H every bit of HP we lose in a stupid fashion could make all the difference, so... Really endeavor to not be an idiot about this one. Oh, okay! Walked on the spikes right after saying it, how fitting. One hundred percent slow the shit out of your roll right now. Yo, you should probably shoot as well. Okay, watch out for that guy. He's gonna teleport your ass. That's his job. He's an ass teleporter. Nice. Nice. Okay. Where the hell are we? I have no idea. Okay, this seems good. Shop key. That's horrible. Oh, but it's open again. Okay, there we go. Bombs. Bombs are good. Red hearts. Extremely valuable. Keep it going. More bombs. Yeah, sign me up, man. A two of clubs card. Nothing wrong with that. Head of the keeper. Fairly solid. That's it? That's it. Okay. You know what? Thank you. That was that was still really useful. The money is effectively completely worthless. But the HP has kept me in this. Probably a very low chance to deal with the devil now, I suppose, but. Is this a run where we're gonna use Sack Dagger for Oh my god, we found the boss. Is this a run where we're gonna use Sack Dagger for fucking everything? It's probably getting around that area, I'd say. We do have Book of Belial. We're going to be fighting Mom's Heart. We definitely don't want to get hit on the Mom's Heart fight and teleport. So, you know, maybe you just keep a full charge. And whenever possible... <laughs> I tried to... Oh, that was scary. Uh, like, keep a full charge and whenever possible just get that Sack Dagger damage in there. 
Damn, dagger! Doesn't really work. I understand. Yeah, I'm trying to stay hip with the memes. Uh, actually, what I'm trying to do is use the memes in an uncool fashion and thus kill them for the next generation of this nation's youths. Wow. Big ups to Chubb for blocking, like, a hundred thousand volleys of shots that could have hit me instead. Nerves of Steel. We've done it! We've done it! No deal with the devil. You know what? I'll live with it. We're up to the cathedral. Who oh boy! <laughs> you crazy for this one? Dude, the loss protector is actually crushing it on this run. I feel so bad for insulting it earlier. Well, I don't feel bad at all. It's an inanimate object that exists only to serve my needs. But, um... At the same time, if you anthropomorphize it enough, I incredibly disrespected it. We don't have any need to do this room. Who am I trying to impress? Nor do we have a need to do this room, but these enemies should be easy. Dude, I'm so excited to get to the chest. Oh, that's pretty good too. I'm so excited to get to the chest and possibly pick up some actual worthwhile items. This is this is easy enough. You focus down one Loki. You can sack dagger the other one as long as he's not creating bomb flies. Good stuff. Okay, no bomb flies. No bomb flies. Look at how much damage we can do when we focus him. There's a bomb fly. Find myself unconcerned by this new revelation. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And we get a bomb for our troubles. So for doing that room, uh, we gain the ability to skip a room in the future. What a time to be alive. I'm not being sarcastic. That could be a pretty big get for us. Every resource is valuable at this point, you know. Not worth it, in my opinion. We're going to skip this room immediately. Maybe we have to come back, maybe we don't. But... I'm happy to skip it regardless. So this guy... Basically, I think you just try to aggro him as much as possible early. Because all you can really control are the number of times he's able to do that bullshit attack. Man, if you were just blue famine, I would be so much happier. But you are easy to kill. Should be using Book of Belial like all the time here. But I haven't used it at all on this floor. Been wrapped up in my own head. Uh, maybe on the leftmost path, but I'm starting to get a little concerned that maybe I did take the wrong direction there. Mm, yes, we did. This room is horrible. Leaving that red heart. I mean, we, we don't have any choice but to leave it, but like I'm actively leaving that red heart because it could be so much more valuable for us later. Although, if we come back for it, we're going to have to go through that room about a thousand times. Yo, this is a little, it's few, too many, too many spiders, honestly. I'm just gonna be level with you. That's too many spiders, you're not allowed to make that many. Not on my watch, at least. We have a curse room. The only way that I see us going to that curse room is if another red heart drops, or if the, uh, if the secret room is adjacent to it, but even then we're gonna need a bomb. Okay, we got two bombs, because we're gonna use a bomb right there. Uh, which also gave us access to a potential black market. Which is not a black market, it's a crawl space that gives us betrayal. Dude, I thought for sure I was going to get hit there. Um, betrayal's not that good. It's not horrible, but it's, it's certainly not that good. Uh, not, not good enough to be crazy excited about. Secret room, maybe? No. So now that we picked up the spirit heart, probably not doing that curse room. Keep in mind, I did... Avoid taking a guppy item earlier as well, which the more I look back the more I'm like, especially with sack dagger We should have taken that guppy item You know we'd have invincibility we'd be getting up in there That may be the defining moment of this run if it ends up being a loss was not taking guppy's paw for for what I would in hindsight Consider to be a very silly reason we can't afford it. We're not gonna become guppy. Yo, you can absolutely afford it It affords itself All right that First phase of this fight was just to show you little Hulkamaniacs out there that you can do anything you put your mind to. 
You want to fight Isaac exclusively using Sack Dagger? Don't let your dreams be dreams. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot right now. Yes, okay, that's good. We should use Sack Dagger almost exclusively at this point. He's so close to death. Why not refuse to give him the chance to teleport you? Okay, that was bad damage, but... Oh, that was worse. But we did it! And we only lost a Spirit Heart in the process. Okay, we don't have a ton of HP. That's that's a real concern as we move ahead here with our with our chances. Um, this would be a really good time to pick up, like, Proptosis, for example. Curse of the Unknown. That's bad. Blue babies. Oh, wait, but Magic Mush. Uh, my best friend. Shielded Tears and Eve's Mascara. I don't think we can take Eve's Mascara. Um, as much as it would be awesome to have that extra hurting power as soon as we started a room, it's not good for us because it would take twice as long to reach a full charge and thus get immunity from teleporting. So... Uh, as much as that would be great, and it actually, like, if we didn't have, uh, I'll do it. If we didn't have, um, Cursed Eye, it might be plausible, then, I mean, it's still not a great item. It's a wash, regardless, usually, but, um, I guess we could have considered it if we didn't have Cursed Eye, but, in, in our present situation, just doesn't make sense. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can afford to do what I'm doing here, which is using Sack Dagger so aggressively we can, you know, fairly realistically see ourselves taking damage. Couple of stains. Only thing that concerns me here is losing track of one, which is exactly what's happened so far. Yep. Yo, that's bullshit. Don't question it. You know that's bullshit. Oh my god. <laughs> he popped up right next to us earlier. Yo, this stain is too strong, man. I'm losing my mind. Yo, Tyrone! Where's your boss? Where'd your boss go, Tyrone? <gasps> ah, you dick! We lived! There's a chest! I heard it! I heard it! No, that was the doors opening. I can't believe we fucking lived. Holy shit, okay. Oh, we're gonna die right here though. Probably. Well, add a new uh, room to the list of rooms that can absolutely suck on my dick. Uh, double stain room, if you lose sight of one of them, apparently becomes the impossible fucking machine. But not to be confused with the incredible machine. HP, please God. Ugh, after doing that room and living against all odds, you're not gonna give me HP. Well, we check for a secret room, I'd say. Could be a bit of a moment of truth here. Thank you for not being greed, at least. And we, uh, take some bold moves here to try to <laughs> pick up some HP. That was an incredibly stupid slash ballsy move. Get this tractor beam motherfucker out of here. I hate your tractor beam asshole. I'm saying his asshole is a tractor beam. I'm not saying I hate your tractor beam comma asshole. I'm saying his tractor beam is his... His... It's his ass. No! We're dead. Yep. Dude, we tried on that run. I've, I'm being real with you. If I had taken Guppy's Paw, I would have won. That's my bad. But also, fuck that chest. That was stupid. I hope you enjoyed the run nonetheless. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.